Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hi, everybody. As usual, I'm in line at Starbucks on my way to work today, and I'm kind of nervous because I'm basically going to a meeting to meet my new manager. <laughs> Um, I told you guys before that our store got a new general manager and um, she's been there for almost a month now maybe but I have never met her because I've seen her at a distance but um, I've only worked um, two shifts something like that since she's been there and um, last week I was off because of my brother's competition so yeah uh, they tried to do a mandatory meeting last week, but me and another girl were already um, approved to be off and couldn't make it. So they switched it to this week, and it's a mandatory meeting, and I don't know what she's going to say, and it makes me nervous because there's a lot of change happening, and I feel like that's like the never-ending story of Ulta. There's constantly, you know, new managers or new rules or, I mean, there's new staff. I mean, constantly. there's It's constant change. Um... Which I, I don't know if that's so typical of retail. I feel like our store just really, really has it. Like, I think the longest we've had, like, a very similar rules and staff and, like, management was maybe, like, a six-month period. And then something would switch. So, I don't know if, I got, if you guys know, but in August, I will have been there for six years. Six years. Long time. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how the meeting is going to go. I don't know, you know, if it's going to be like just an introduction meeting or like a crackdown meeting. I don't know. But it is what it is. And um, I'm a little nervous about today because I'm not feeling well physically. Like I, I keep having little pinches in my back and um, I'm still getting over what I had. So <laughs> I'm like, great. I have to work a full day of a very physical job and come in an hour early for a meeting that could go well, could not. I don't know, but coffee time and then off to work. Let you know how it goes. Bye. Hey friends. So as usual, I'm on my way home from work. Um, today was good. It was interesting though. So this morning I had a meeting before work and turns out the meeting was not a salon meeting it was a whole store meeting and um I love that it was mandatory but I'm really sure that was not our entire staff um in fact I know it's not because not even all the salon was there so that's interesting and um basically I guess Ulta is getting a credit card and so that's kind of what the majority of the meeting was about which ugh, I feel some type of way about I just I don't I mean, it's beneficial to people who are already going to spend that money, and um, they do get pretty cool perks from it, but it's also a store card, and I feel like those are not a good idea. It's awkward, too, because, I don't know, it's a company I work for, so I don't want to say anything, but at the same time... I'll just say, I don't agree. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah. Found out another girl in the salon is leaving today. And I'm sad about it because I love her. And she's been in her two weeks. And I don't know. She, has a, she had a second job. And she got offered a full-time position there. And um, Aldo's gone through so much lately that she just hang and I don't blame her honestly I don't I don't know how I hang honestly well okay I do because it's beneficial and I'm currently able to work very little and just be with the people I love and not deal with the rest of it so um, speaking of which I was worried about the hours conversation coming up and that I can't work any more than I'm working now and um, I did do a small meeting with my salon manager and um, she didn't bring it up at all and I brought it up at the end just because I don't want to keep having this feeling about it and thinking you know any moment the ball's gonna drop I'd rather just you know if we're gonna 
you know, if it's going to be a conversation that has to be had, let's just deal with it. You know what I mean? So I brought it up and asked her and I was like, you know, you said that we're going to have to add hours and there's a certain amount of hours they want people to be working and blah, blah, blah. And she said that basically because, um, because it was approved by another manager, she can't, you know, they can't just fire me because I'm not working enough hours supposedly, which I think could still be done somehow, but basically she said that, you know, they can't really do anything about it because someone else approved it and was okay with it before her, before her being in charge and, um, it just is what it is. And, um, I mean, I explained to her how I feel it's mutually beneficial because you're getting my clients at my prices, um, that I already have built up that are happy, you know, they're happy, I'm happy. Um, I'm here and present and helpful when I am here and you know I, I would assume that that is mutually beneficial however I can understand how their side in corporate would want people to be all in and blah blah I've, I've talked to this before so you know she she said they've they've said stuff about it but not anything not anything where like I would be getting fired or I mean I don't know so they kind of just left it hanging, I guess, and haven't brought it up again. And hopefully, you know, it'll just kind of stay that way and I'll be able to just keep my one day for as long as I can and be able to get the extra income and whatever. So it's also frustrating because financially going into buying a house, they want to see that you've been working somewhere for a while. And um, August will be a year I've been nannying but that's not a full-time position. And although I work a really small amount of hours at the salon, I have been there for six years. So it at least has like, you know, a history of like, I'm not just bouncing around from job to job. I've been with this company for a long time. And although I don't work a lot there, I'm still there. And you know, it's just, uh, they wanna see stability. So that they can know that you're gonna make your payments and I get it so that's what's going on with that and during the meeting this morning like an idiot I took like two three sips of my drink of my coffee and then when I went to reach for it I didn't fully get on top of it and ended up kind of pushing it and my coffee went all over the floor so that was awesome and shout out to Kendall because you're the only one who helped me clean it she immediately like jumped up and started helping me clean it off the floor while the meeting continued and um, not that I expected anyone to help me honestly but like if I were there I would have helped do you know what I mean and, and when we were on the floor I kept I kept like at, you know oh my gosh thank you so much for helping me like thank you like you didn't have to thank you and she was like yeah girl I can just like watch you do it and not help like all these people <laughs> Like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> but I get it. It wasn't their fault, so not their mess to clean. I get it. So, anyways, that was awesome. And then shout out to my girl, my girl Kiana, who hooked me up with going to get me another one because I was like, I still need coffee though. So I like wrote down what I wanted and gave her some dollars, and she went and <laughs> got me another one. So shout out to you, girl. Yes. Um. So, my day was good though. I had three clients that I really love, and so that was great. The day went by quick. Um, even being there an extra hour, and I actually left an hour late. So, even with all of that, the day was still great, which is awesome and quick. And I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna go get food. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I'm hungry. But yeah, it was overall just a good day. And I'm gonna go home, and I didn't work out this morning because I had to be up there an hour earlier, so I'll have to end up, I'll have to do something tonight. And um, last night, after I signed off and everything, I went on the elliptical with Quentin. Well, he wasn't on the elliptical with me, but I was like, I wasn't gonna work out. And then last minute, I was like, you need to, Jackie, you need to. So I went to Quentin and I was like, will you go to the gym and support me? And he was like, yeah. Um, so he thought he just was gonna go and like <laughs> play his game in the gym with me and I was like you're not gonna change and he was like I don't have to work out with you I just I'm gonna go in there and support you and I was like you suck <laughs> so he ended up changing his clothes 
initially saying so he would look like he's working out but he doesn't want to actually work out and then he ended up doing some, some leg presses and some stuff with the with the bar but <laughs> I did the elliptical and it was all right I didn't love it but I got it done you know what I mean watched a show while I did it whatever pretty much the rest of the day I'm just gonna relax and whatever so I might check in one more time I don't know hi friends so I'm laying here relaxing and I'm watching people on YouTube cut their hair dramatically by themselves and I'm just like as I'm watching it's so crazy oh, uh, I mean it ends up looking okay but it's just like what are you doing one girl got a round brush stuck in her hair and tried for probably hours on her end to get it out and it was like the whole like top chunk of her hair she got it like wrapped around a small round brush and like I don't know why but she was just like ripping at it instead of like trying to unwind it it was quite a large chunk of hair but at that point I'm like how does that even happen like how do you get it tangled that much she wasn't round brushing her hair she was trying to brush her hair like what how does that even happen so hi bird hi wow hi hi coyo hi little coyo wow that's right rub your scent all over everything because you the boss you the boss. She the boss, boss, kitty, 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 kitty. You a girl? Do you smooch her? Hates it. All right, so yeah, she got it. Is Quentin home? No. But yeah, she got it stuck in her hair, which is like so crazy, and tried to get it wet to get it out, and all kinds of stuff. Bryce <laughs> just like. Yeah, give me those scritchies. Yeah, loving it. Loving it. So, yeah, she got it wet and tried to get it out, and it didn't work, and she eventually just cut it off. Like, she pulled it out, and all the hair that was stuck in the brush, she just cut off. And, I mean... She had kind of like a shaved around the bottom, like an like a really extreme undercut anyway. Why are you rubbing your face on my phone? Why? Why you do it, little lady? Oh, the purse. The purse. You're so beautiful, little girl. <laughs> So yeah, she just like, I don't know, she just cut it all off, it's crazy, but yeah, she had an extreme undercut underneath anyway, so I feel like it wasn't that big of a deal, and she ended up like cutting the rest of it to the length of what she cut off, and like bleaching it, and it ended up looking really cool, but I just can't imagine, like, I've gotten probably gum stuck in my hair once before, and I don't remember where to cut that out, or... I guess if you use, like, you know, something with an oil, it helps it come out. I don't know. I just can't imagine. I'd be so sad, especially the amount of hair that was in the brush. It was, like, a good chunk. I was like... And then this other girl I'm watching right now, she just decided she wanted short hair, so she put her hair in a ponytail, cut it off, got in the shower, got it wet, um, and then, like took up the top and the sides and like shaved all the back like what and now she's getting it Quentin just got home though so I'm gonna go bye